What's going on everybody today? We are back again with another top 10 affordable sneakers out right now Gotta love doing these videos man for top sure. 10 always end up getting a shoe from the list just automatic All right, so like always uh, links will be in the description box below for you guys. I say we get right into it So starting off the list, we got a cheaper alternative to the G Dragons. Okay. Let me know what you think of these. Man, when I heard Air Forces and I heard Black, ow, come I on, I had those vibes, man. Nah, I these had those vibes. Good. These are a little friendlier, white midsole. Uh, I see. It's like I you're see. gonna foul someone on the court, but uh, not a technical. Man, as far as a cheaper alternative, you hit the nail on the head with yes, these sir. ones. The vibe, the silhouette, the colorway, the blocking. No, down to the laces right, right. here. If you actually look at the G Dragons, uh -huh. they have the same exact laces. They're just thicker. Mm. So they got it down to even the same design of the laces. Obviously, you're not going to get the whole like distress scene and whatnot. Right. But as far as the vibe, I'm just talking about the vibe. And we're talking about a price difference of 600 versus 110. What? Yeah. Come on. You're going to save a ton of money. So yeah, I would definitely say these are a nice pickup right now. And on top of that, you know, you're just going to get a little respect, you know, walking around in these. Man, respect. I think people are going to be fearing me if I'm walking around with these. <laughs> the black, <laughs> that black Air Force that One leather, energy. That leather, man. That leather. Yeah. All right. So for 110, you know, I call these the G Dragon alternatives. Like I said, links will be in the description box below for you guys to all of these sneakers. Let's move on to the second one. So moving right along, we got a pair of Vans right here, only $50. Man, you are not playing when you we set got affordable. The, for sure. We got the checkered slip-ons right here. In my opinion, it has to be the checkered ones. Man. I don't know. It's just something about this color. You know when what I mean? When I see these, it's just got my Vans on, but it look like sneakers. Oh, you brought up the pack. You already know, man. This is a, this a new chapter. New yeah, chapter, like I would say. The middle school vibes with these and the whole grungy look going on these are in mm -hmm, these are for in. sure really uh just a dope low-key sneaker to rock with you know vintage for sure. uh anything that's just not that like super clean cut look right now right and with that cream color it doesn't it doesn't matter too much if you get them dirty that's why i love when vans does a checkered pattern yeah they always do it with like that really off-white uh color they and then the midsole it. is clean for sure um what kind of really set it off for me and just basically like Put these back on my radar uh jordan clarkson mm. has been rocking these heavy walking lately. into the games walking yeah that pre-game walk i know uh, what you're talking dancing about dancing in them and whatnot and then fifty dollars right bro who Come does on. not have fifty dollars to spend on a pair of sneakers you nowadays? cannot beat it just a dope sneaker you could really mess up exactly and goes with that grunge look yes sir Easy. <laughs> All right, so moving right along right here, we got a pair of Air Max 90s from their anniversary pack. Uh, only 100 bucks Steel. on sale. We got the Tiffany Blue, too. Man, honestly, out of all the retro colors that they did, I think the Tiffany Blue is my favorite. You really? I think out of even the Volt? Even the, the Volts, the infrareds. Because usually when I see Tiffany Blue, it doesn't work for me, and it's more of a feminine color. Mm, that's a but good But on the point. 90s, it stays classic. That's a good point. It's like you could replace any of the parts that are teal on the shoe mm -hmm. with any color. Color, and it's still going to have that 90s essence. You know exactly. what I mean? As long as you have that general color blocking of the 90s, you're good to go. You can replace them with any colors and it's not going to look too feminine. Yeah, it's going to maintain that classic look. Also, one thing I really like about the anniversary 90s is they maintain that right OG shape. I yeah, know a lot of people exactly. don't care about the shape, but and you, you have know, to have a good important. eye. You have to have a good eye to actually even see that the shape is still OG compared yes. to the infrareds. It just didn't seem like it was right. Some of them were looking like a little rocket shit. I don't know how to explain it's too Maybe. rounded yeah. yeah so they really did a great job with the shape on the anniversary 90s um just a dope color you don't see very often exactly the tiffany blue right here on sale right now 100 bucks look into these all right guys so here's a continuation of the video these three sneakers were not in but they just got delivered so i wanted to show you guys here they are so for the next sneakers eight and nine we wanted to bring up the ronnie five kith collaborations that just dropped wow, wow i mean obviously they used to fetch at what around 400 bucks crazy so resale prices resale, resale prices, prices were like now, 450. Yeah. now they're down 200 so the fact that you can get them for 200 and the potential that they might shoot back up you better jump on it right yeah, now yeah so yeah 
the end of the day, you're gonna get a shoe that has a little height too. Yeah, height. You, know, you got the Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Five Kit collab stamp on it as well too. Mm -hmm. With the wild colors, you can always count on the palettes. Yeah, the Ronnie Five drops definitely. Out, so that rose gold salmon look to it, man. Yeah, yeah. It's affordable it's right now. Get an affordable shoe that has that comes with height. So I really like these. Definitely recommend them. And then we also got these 90s. We ordered them, but they weren't in yet. Ooh. But they just came. You do not see brown that, in Air Max 90s that often. That's the that first thing often. I was going to say. The fact that you get like an OG almost type of color blocking, but then you get the Tone Jones brown. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And then you got to look at like, I like that the uh, the midsole isn't like that pure white. Yeah. You can almost see it's like, you know, I'm trying to show them. It's like yellow. Dang, this reminds me of just like an OG colorway. Like, yeah, for sure. Because you know? usually sometimes Lifestyle. Right? Yeah. yeah. They kind of mess it up, you know, the the new, the newer ones. You used to collect 90s like crazy. So like, right here. I mean, dope that these are still on the Nike website for retail. 100 oh, bucks. What? 100, 100 bucks. Oh. Next sneaker up for only 110 bucks. We got the Puma RSXs right here. Some Pumas. Boom. Let me know what you think of these right here. These are Fire. Crazy color, right? And I've seen this model so many times. This has to be Puma's sneaker of the year. You think so? Not sneaker of the year. Okay, okay. <laughs> that would have been a crazy statement. Puma's sneaker of the year. Puma's the silhouette sneaker of the is year. bananas. You know what it is? Uh, I feel like these came out in a time where like dad shoes were really popular. Yes. But they were sleek enough to still like maintain that popularity and yeah, like they, and they not... stood the test of time, basically. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like they were going for the trend. Yes. It was able to last yes and with last that moment of dad mm -hmm. shoes and i think that's why they are a popular model mm -hmm. yeah and it's like when i saw this color i usually see this shoe in loud colors i know mm -hmm. the first two or three colors were super bright super popping yes. they were trying to make a statement <laughs> this is that one for me yeah it's matching with every outfit for sure it's going with I, everything i know this has nothing to do with uh reebok but from afar, they kind of give me this, like, the uh, kamikaze vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, the, the camps. Black, the camps, yeah, yeah, just yeah. a little bit. But, yeah, these are definitely really unique, very versatile. You can't really put these in the category as, like, straight runners right? or straight lifestyle. Exactly. They're kind of a mixture, I would say. And it's that perfect mixture, in my opinion. So, like I said, only $110 right now. Puma is killing it right now. And by far, this is the best color that they did in the RSX. You think so? Easily. All right, that's you heard it from Brandon. All right, let's move on to the next sneaker. Woo! All right, so moving right along, we got a pair of Nike Joy Rides right, all right here. All right. This cushioning is crazy. So we got the uh, CC3 setters. These retail for 180 bucks. Uh, seen on Jerry Lorenzo in a ton of colors, but they are on sale for only 85 bucks. Under 100 bucks. Crazy. And you're gonna get some of the craziest cushioning on these shoes. I was looking at the Bro, insole earlier. Look at it it's, protrudes it's out. out, and it's squishy. It's soft. It's responsive. Yeah. Are you? Uh, before we even get into the details yeah, of yeah. the sneaker, are you surprised Joyride didn't take off for Nike? I actually am surprised because I saw a lot of people wearing the Reacts, which I thought the Joyrides were gonna do the same thing, and mm -hmm. it just the hype wasn't there. Yeah. I think it was like maybe too hard for Nike to mass produce a bunch of sneakers with if you look at it It's like individual balls all up in the cushioning. Mm. I think that's very expensive to do, you know, right? Right, right cushioning aside though. This colorway is on um, point bro I'm looking at it from the inside right here. It is like a off-white on the midsole Exactly with the white. It's not like and it's a, not even your normal royal blue. It's like a Yankee blue huh? if, that, Yankee if that makes blue. sense. Yankee blue and the orange swoosh on the toe box bottom is fire sets too Oh, yeah, I wouldn't I don't even know how to categorize these maybe like trainer uh, tech Tech. runner yes. everything yeah everything right in between you want. yeah and i would even work out in these too and the little leather touch on the oh, inside heel that's like that more like lifestyle vibe yeah, like casual vibe i see why jerry lorenzo was rocking these Come you know he's a, he's always ahead of the game but yeah the cc3 setters right here on sale like i said we've shown these in the past but this colorway is way better than the other fire. one it's not even close not even close not even close that's how good these ones are i don't even remember what the other colorway was exactly all right so yeah definitely look into these really nice in person like we said 85 bucks Steals. let's move on to the next sneaker all right so next sneaker right here very excited for this one mm -hmm. uh, a personal favorite of mine <laughs> this color specifically 
Bam! We oh, got the Richie. Air Mox right here. You know, I had to include these on the list. Only 65 bucks. 65 bucks. Okay, okay. Every time I come over here, I promise you these get pulled out. Come on. These get come pulled out on. every single no, time, No, you always guys. see the olive ones. You always right. see the oh, olive yeah, ones. You are, this yeah. is new. I just got these. I haven't even worn them yet. So we switch up the colorway. Navy with the cement print on the mm. bottom. $65. Uh, I put these in the same category as like... The Yeezy foams, you know, like right. you're not trying to stunt on anybody or pull off any crazy fits. It's, it's more a like, light flex. It's light, a, it's just a light like, flex. Just like Aaron's type of sneaker, and you know they, what I mean? They feel comfortable. Like they feel squishy. Bruh, when people ask me why do I like these, I say a sleeping bag on your foot is the best way I can put it. You guys see the sleeping bag on the foot. Come on. Is That's that a perfect description. <laughs> the sleeping right bag there. on the foot is going to cover your whole foot up and just be comfortable. Man, honestly, ever since you brought these shoes up, I've seen people rocking them at the <laughs> mall, bro. Really? At the mall. Bro, so many people <laughs> tag me in the uh, new colorways in yeah. these. They even have like the tie-dye one. Trust me, I'm going to get you, the tie-dye one too. You set the wave. You set the trend. I don't know if and I set the sure. trend for the Air Mox, but... Uh, <laughs> These are definitely do not sleep on these. It's just that casual sneaker, very comfortable sleeping bags on the foot. All right. Foot, if I see you guys, tag me in your photos rocking these. Shh, I might have to send you a t-shirt or something. Air mock gang, you know? You know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next sneaker. All right. So next sneaker, we got a pair of Nike React Visions all right, right here. All right. All right. More athleisure vibes. Uh, white on white, but then they also have like this, like, I don't know, glow in the dark uh, Vibes, yeah. rubber at the bottom. No, I was saying that same thing and it popped out. Mm -hmm. When you said React Vision, it looks like they had like the Sakai Vision with these. Uh, oh, the whole protruded part at the end, the uh, double, double layers. Layer here. I see that right here. These are a little bit more expensive than the regular Reacts. I Got think you. like $15 more, but like you just said, you're going to get more details on them. Yeah, that um, and I feel like the upper isn't mesh. It feels oh. like it's going to actually hold up a little bit better. yeah i see what you're saying like for an all white sneaker this part isn't gonna get as messed up as you as would think normal yeah. yeah these are definitely just a great everyday casual sneaker super super comfortable and just a little bit more low-key than the original reacts i would say one of my favorite parts of the shoe is actually the one piece tongue oh how it's like i see what you're saying the it doesn't design. move around it's gonna yeah. hold itself a little bit they more call functional. that the uh inner booty Whoa. the inner, inner booty. booty design all right uh, booty. i didn't make it up it's called <laughs> literally an inner booty design um yeah when the tongue does connect to the yeah, inside yeah it's like all one piece I yeah like that. it is uh, it makes the shoe feel like all as one i would right. say kind of hugs your foot a little yeah, bit yeah i better. hate when the tongue it's goes moving on the side. left to right yeah um but yeah 130 bucks a little on the pricier side compared to the other sneakers but the quality is there for sure all right so there we have it for this sneaker a little bit more details in your average reacts All right, guys, thank you for checking out that top 10 affordable sneakers out right now video. Man, and I've always liked doing these videos because we give you guys 10 options that are still in stock, man. Yeah. We're not giving you guys the ones that are already sold out or for sure. too hyped. Yeah. These are these ones you all get your hands on. For the on. everyday people, you know, yeah. on sale. Uh, we give you the links and everything. So cheaper alternatives. Yeah. It's cool seeing uh, the sneakers that people pick up based off the list. Exactly. I always get tagged in their photos and whatnot. So Mad love. it is really cool. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to Brandon for being in today's video make sure you guys check out his ig he runs a vintage store online crazy selection and that's pretty much it make sure you guys are subbed to the channel share this with your friends and until next time we out peace, peace.